Hi everyone, it's Rachel here at Newsbridge and today we have a lot of exciting things going on as usual. I have the pleasure of announcing our latest functionality which is our new carts interface and the associated features that go along with that. So we're just going to dive right in. Um, I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like in the platform. So as you can see we're currently here. We're going to simply click on our desired media that we would like to upload to our cart. In this case, I want an example of Greta doing a TED talk. Using emissions. So keeping it familiar, we're just going to select the sub clips that we'd like to add to our cart. You can do that as usual. Just open clipping tools here and you can select your sub clips as usual, just highlighting the text in this case. And let's say I just want a couple of sub clips here. So now if we click on the cart icon here, we'll be able to see our three sub clips that we just selected. Now this is going to look slightly different. Um, you can now replay your sub clips in real time. You can edit and you also have the ability to delete. At the same time, you can now reorder your clips in case you want to work with them differently upon upload to your cart. At this point, we're just going to simply export our material to our cart, and I'm going to name it Greta Test so it's easily searchable. And this is a new pop-up as well that's going to appear. Um, so it's a, it's a list of all of your pre-configured destinations in widget format. And the blue means generate, yellow means send. So again, some new looking things going on here. In our case, we're just going to simply click on this first example, download that, and we're going to receive a pop-up in which we have the ability to view our cart history. Um, so either we can click on that here, but for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm going to go to our home page. And just as a little tip, you can see your uh, your clips downloading, um, sorry, uploading to your cart here with the blue progress bar. Um, so to access your carts, you're going to go to this top navigational bar, click on carts. And now you can see that your clips have been successfully uploaded to your carts history. So this is the new landing page for carts history. Um, as you can see, things do look slightly different. Um, it is meant to help you uh, look at your previous material, um, actions of who, who worked with what, um, who worked with which clips. So uh, this is a really new practical um, feature. So just to give you a little more background on what we just uploaded. Um, so this is our clip that we were working with. Um, so we were currently working in the platform, um, but if we were to be here while it was uploading, this is actually a progress bar. So it would start blue. And then once it's completely blue, that means that it is ready for download, uh, just as a heads up. And then we also have the ability to go back in um, and look at our uh, destination uh, widgets here and uh, work with our material in different ways. Um, just so you know, and then we have the ability to, to delete as well. And again, this is the new filtering um, functionality. So we have the ability to just look at one individual user's um, activity and what they're doing with their clips, for example. Again, quite simple. Um, so there you have it. There is the new cart interface in a nutshell. Um, hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching.